actually getting close. Well, g'day guys, I'm Brad from the Jackson Brothers and on this episode, or whatever you want to call it, we're doing something a bit different. We're at another farm and uh, we're going to go and look at some technology. We've been listening to lots of stories about cover cropping, um, water use efficiency, all that sort of things. Got a few fence here. We're going to have a bit of an investigation of our next program, and that is the um, autonomy. There's nothing new about autonomy now in uh, agriculture. Uh, here it is over here, but what is uh, new? These guys um, are based out of Gundy Agtronics. They um, put this system out of the the Dutch land, I'll make sure I'm going in the right spot. Um, the IQ system they're calling it doesn't require an internet connection to keep operating, which is good, or a server. So autonomy is nothing new. You've got your robots, you've got your, your swarm bots, I mean, uh, tractors, all that. Uh, where they've got a bit of a unique thing here, which is interesting and more in the way I want to see it go, which is good and it'll only continue to improve, no doubt, but they're running sensors on their boom and they're actually controlling speed based off vibration. So, which is a great thing for, I don't know about you guys out there, but a lot of our country can be really good, smooth, and then you can have some real rough bits. And um, currently other, other ones out there, you've got to go out and, and mark in the paddock where it's rough and tell it to slow down so that it'll slow down every time or whatever the reason is. Whereas this one, it'll sense it and then it'll slow down. So he's actually got an obstacle course, which we'll look at in a little bit and uh, just see how that reacts. So that's pretty cool tech. And it's the way I think it needs to go to get more, more of us on board. The next step will be probably, and it'll just be a matter of time is the um, where it can re react to what it's seeing in front rather than be proactive rather than reactive mm -hmm. is what I'm trying to say. So a bit like the um, John Deere okay, header set up where they're reading the crop um, um, and they're slowing so the header down beforehand. The down. This will get there too and, I reckon. Uh, it'll do a lap around these trees at the moment. and it's see where the cool. wheel tracks are it's and then it's going to head back down the other way. Here it comes. Permit, wasn't it, Obviously guys, it's not normal that you drive this in the crop like this. Uh, their fellow paddocks are that wet with all the rain, but um, we cannot do that. So they've had to lift the radar up at the front, just so that it doesn't, the crop doesn't pull it up. She's getting close. I don't know whether you can see on the sprayer there's three lights, green, orange and red. Green is go, red is stop, orange is caution. Um, what they're thinking is to do with the crop here. It's just picking it up and it's telling it to stop. They were just talking about how that it um, won't bog itself so that might be something so, I need to invest in. Um, you set so slip limits in and um, 
uh, pick it out there. Yeah, go from there Come and it'll sort of stop again. if it slips too much and or the engine load's too high. And it should stop on the start again. So, well, it did yesterday, might didn't be it, Phil? proof for Brad, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. See if it can jump. Come back to that thing. It's going to be a little Oh, yeah. Uh, so For you that know, we've all done that before. I wasn't happy about it. So it's slowed right down. So, see that last bump? Well, guys, this time around, they've got the old star um, picket there. And um, Let's see if she yeah. smashes. He's got to get Jace to stop talking. As many questions as he can self like. water to a you fish, I reckon. Like asking questions in front of everyone else. Um, we can, Might have been um, a few people sweating on that. You can catch up with us a bit <laughs> later and then we'll start on myself. I think for insurance purposes, we can't um, put someone to run out there, which is quite yeah. unfortunate. I'd be willing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we'll let it go off that would be the wrong thing to do. Well, that's pretty cool, guys. Speed adaption to the situation. So they can do different um, <laughs> speed ranges uh, for corners. That's what slows down a bit for corners, and you can have your maximum speed. I'm saying our Again, sensors simulated uh, off a, a good um, operator that's done done a fair bit of work uh, and how he slows down one. and all these things so and then they've um, put that data into in to this shoot. sensor Could system on the way to, so that it sort of mimics that I suppose yeah excitement looks like we're getting a, a human uh, test dummy yeah hi you're out there all good <laughs> Brad Jackson Film star. Did you get some good footage? You did. I think so. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. <laughs> Told you he was a good salesman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you heard me. <laughs> oh, wasn't even close. No sweating. Oh, so we might go and they're going to shut it down and uh, we might go and have a bit of a squizzy around it. Alright guys, we're going to jump up in the cab here. We've got the owner, Phil. Oh. Yeah, g'day Phil. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. just going to give us a rundown here. Oh, of, yeah. Uh, oh, we're on yeah. video. Yeah, we're on video. Sorry, I didn't give you any warning. <laughs> Very good. So, so that's the screen so there. Yeah. Got IQ screen. So this is the route that we recorded previously. Yes. And at the moment, it, things were just there. We haven't moved the tractor since booting yes. up. So to do autonomy, we're on we're on the we're on the route. We press the start button to yeah. the road switch, oh, yes, and then um, press the start button on the remote control. Um, that gets us into autonomy. So there's um, so the. The route is there, and you'll see the darker, thicker lines. They're yep. the curves. Yep, yep. So that's where the tractor is programmed to slow down. Oh, so yes, you yes. have different speed ranges for the curves. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And so then you can go into the editing, and yes. that will show all the waypoints um, oh, yes. on the path. Yes. So we can actually go in here and select these waypoints and chop chop a section out. Between. Yeah, yeah. we can yeah. read re-record that section, yeah, yeah, yeah. add it in, and so on. So we've got some uh, settings through here. Yes. There's a route generator, so you can do your headlands, and then you can um, press the route generator. It will generate all the lines. Yes. So that works if you've got no obstacles. Yeah, yes, yes. Um, and it's got lots of, um, and we've got it's fairly simple-ish to use, your son, but it just makes a bit better than that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So there's a bit of stuff in here. Once you get your head around it, it's yeah. not really cool. Um, in here we have got some uh, different speed and implement setup settings, so yes. we can trigger stuff. So the the little red line, like the the T bar yeah. behind the tractor, that's simulating the implement. Oh yes. Yep. Yep. So when it comes out of the curve, it won't speed up until. Um, the implement gets to the end of the curve and yes. there's some settings in the background that we put in front of the tractor so yeah. we just slow down a little bit before we actually get to the curve. 
future time. Yeah. Yep. So. No, that's cool. Um, yeah. And then you got um. So that road mode is good because it means you can just hit it and drive to the next farm over the highway or. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes, that's right. You can drive it home. Yep. Uh, you can autonomy down to the paddock if you like. Yeah. You just need to record the route. Yes. And. Uh, the, the difference between autonomy mode and road mode is that it turns on all the autonomy warning system. Yep, at the front. And, yep, at the front. And then it's got all the sensors on. You can drive in autonomy mode, you can stay in the seat if you want to do a lap. Yep. And uh, then when it's time to go home or do something different, go to the next field, you just put it back into road mode and off you go. And you were saying uh, earlier that you still run the Raven, is it? Oh, Trimble, sorry. So Trimble. Yeah, Trimble. That's and a third party GPS. Yep. Just so the, you output the signal of that into the IQ system. Oh, yes. And the, the, the IQs use a Raven steering controller. Oh, yep. Yeah, yep. so there's two steering controllers. Yes. So you just need to isolate between the two. And through the Trimble, you're picking up your GPS signal. Yes. And then just feeding them into that port. So obviously you want a hard to pay when you... Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you can run on other singles. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so you can all change it in there. That's what we want to see. Yep. And, um, yeah. Playback. Oh, yeah, so to do a record, so if we want to, for example, start a new path, yep. then we can just press the record and it will either add on to the your previous work yep. or you can start fresh yep. um, and as soon as you start driving a record you can press pause and then we'll stop at that moment and then if you press record again it'll draw a straight line between where yeah. you pause and where yeah. you start. So that'd be handy for like boundaries where you want a straight line but yes. then your, your radius you want to do what you want to do. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. No, oh, well, thank you. And then that's the, that's the emergency pad up there. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so in emergency, you can um, you can accidentally press this one with the ute, with the ute door and oh, it'll right. shut down on you. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, you got your start and your pause. Yep. So pause is just you want to check something before it goes or yep. pull it up for a moment and stop or stop. So then you've got to come back in, go back into road mode and then go back into your autonomy soon. Uh, thanks for your time. Very it's good. great, great to get a bit of a rundown. The crowds have subsided, so a little bit less pressure. I just wanted to, what was I wanting to do? He said there's a sticker here somewhere. So the the system on the tractor is IQUS, I think is how you say it. And then Agtronics Autonomous Embedded Technology, that's what they're calling there. It's their own thing. And that's the computer that's here that then talks to the ISA in the tractor but yes i do love it here it won't be driving for half a day with a flat tire and wreck your rim and all of the above <clears throat> it's quite a nice boom i like some of the features on it they've, re they've really refined it i reckon um this suspension's pretty good and it's just like a common airbag too so yeah that's a tick and it's built a lot stronger the thing I like about this one is the wheel goes around 360. It can just keep going around and around and around. It doesn't have limiting uh, a limit stop there. But yeah, so that's that's about it, guys. Here's a, here's a bit more propaganda Jace gave me. I'm sure there's something. There's weather stations that all limits that you can put whatever you want in there. But um, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Something a bit. Uh, futuristic maybe somewhat so all the best guys thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one cheers